Well, we've learned more about a dramatic lead up to a deadly police chase that happened Sunday night. News 12's Nick Hill is live with what prompted a father to go on the run with his 18 month old child. Nick, what can you tell us? I-75 on Udala was shut down for hours last night as investigators worked to piece together a police chase that ended in a gunfight that killed kidnapping suspect Tyler Roberts. Deputies in both Catoosa and Hamilton counties say that Roberts' actions forced them into a difficult position. The Catoosa County Sheriff's Office says the incident began on Karen Lane, just off of Cloud Springs Road in the north end of the county. Deputies say they received a call around 8.30 Sunday evening regarding a domestic violence incident. When they arrived, they say officers found Tyler Roberts in a vehicle attempting to escape with his 18-month-old child. The sheriff's office says that he lived with his girlfriend, who was the mother of the child. She told officers they had been arguing most of Sunday and he had friend her with a gun and knife. The victim, according to the Catoosa County Sheriff's Office, says that her tires had been slashed and phone taken away by Mr. Roberts prior to the police chase. As Roberts began his escape, Catoosa County deputies say they attempted to stop him as they drew their guns towards him. However, they say Roberts responded by raising his child towards them and then proceeded to drive through the deputy, striking one in the leg with the child inside. The sheriff's office says that officer was not injured. The victim told deputies that Roberts fought if she left with their child, he would no longer be able to see them. From there, the chase proceeded onto nearby I-75 and north into Hamilton County, where the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office took over. Hamilton County deputies say they were able to stop Roberts just north of the Udawa exit via spike strips and boxed him in. As the deputies attempted to apprehend Roberts, the Sheriff's Office says Roberts opened fire on them, resulting in a gunfight. Two officers were hit and suffered non-life-threatening injuries. Roberts was killed in the exchange. The 18-month-old child was unharmed. Hamilton County District Attorney Cody Womp has appointed the TBI to investigate this incident as a protocol, as it is protocol rather, with officer-involved shootings. Coming up on Prime News at 7, we will take a deeper look at what we have found in Robert's criminal past, including how he was supposed to be in court today. Reporting live, Nick Hill, News 12.